Yo, yo! Welcome to Strong Athletics Video Vlog. Today, me and my pal Bob here are going to teach you about the top three muscle groups you need to be training if you're looking to increase your punching power and speed. As far as weight training and boxing goes, there's a lot of old school thinking, a lot of mythology. You know, you always hear people say, ah, oh, weights just make you big and slow and bulky and limit your movement and yada, yada, yada. And it can be true, but only if you train like an idiot. If you train the right way, there's no reason why strength training can't improve your performance in boxing and kickboxing, just like it does in every other professional sport. So let's do it. You ready, Bob? Ready. I win. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. Tip number one, train your upper back. Now I know what you're thinking. What the fuck does my upper back have to do with my ability to throw a punch? I want to ask you a bunch of questions. And I want to have them answered immediately. One very special reason, and that is your upper back muscles have a huge effect on your posture. So let's have, like examine what you'll typically see in someone with weak and immobile upper back muscles. You'll see two things. You'll see a forward slump in their posture, as well as that you'll see internal rotation of their shoulders. So you get this sort of thing going. You see a lot in those guys at Fitness First that just train their chest all the time. You get this sort of like gorilla -y thing going. Now why does this take away from your ability to throw a powerful punch? One main reason is because you lose the ability to protract and retract your scapula. What the fuck does that mean? The scapula is your shoulder blade. And now in a healthy upper back, when these muscles are strong, the fact that they're strong and mobile will actually straighten your posture up and pull those shoulders back in their correct position. So those scapular your shoulder blades are always sitting closer together in a naturally more retracted position. And what this gives us the ability to do is protract the scapula, so that is use your muscles to actually spread them further apart and get that extra movement. So that in a person with bad posture and weak upper back, you're already in that protracted position. You've got no extra movement to get. Now it doesn't look like much. You know, what is that? About an inch, maybe two inches of movement. But it's actually a very, very, very powerful movement, especially if you're strong through the front and equally strong through the back. I'll give you a little demo on Bob. Like Bob's pretty solid. He doesn't move very much when you punch him. Now just without using my hips, without using elbow extension or anything with a straight arm, just with my shoulder blade naturally retracted and getting that protraction movement, you can get this much power out. Now again, it's not huge. You're not going to knock someone out just with the protraction of your shoulder. But if you have a weak upper back, you don't get that protraction power at all. You get nothing. So straight away, you're draining your punch of that much force. Whereas if you were naturally retracted, you'd get that force combined with elbow extension, hip rotation, and hip extension, and you get a lot of power in it.
you have fun? I did too. So stay tuned for part two, where I'm going to tell you the next most underrated muscle group which can be trained to improve punching power. What do you reckon it's going to be, Bob? Lower body. Lower body muscles to improve punching power. You're off your head, mate. So thanks for that. Stay tuned for... Then slide out with your lady. No gifts or buts about it. My style is chip, no tronic. Got grips and models, so spin the bottle.